Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to cover uh, another tutorial for PKDF microcontroller for MPLAB in Proteus environment. And today's task is to generate square wave in a, a RC0 of PKDF microcontroller. So we have to generate a square wave at RC0 pin. Uh, so this, it will be considered as our output pin, right? And we will be using PKDF452 microcontroller and we will develop the setup for the, in the Protease environment for this specific task. So first of all, let's write the code. So this is the code that I have written for you. So let me explain it for you. It's very easy and simple. We have seen it in multiple tutorials. So I will be going through it very quickly. So VCF press C comma zero, this instruction, it is basically making the port C uh, or RC zero pin as output pin because we are clearing it or we are clearing the corresponding Chris register for this specific pin, right? Uh, then what we do, we do bit toggle port C comma RC zero. So we toggle this specific bit. So if it is zero, we make it one, or if it is one, we make it uh, zero using this instruction bit toggle. We have already covered this instruction in theory tutorials. So uh, I hope you know that what this command is doing, it will toggle the port C and the which bit RC0 pin, right? So RC0 bit will be coming, will be toggling. Uh, it, if it is zero, it is going to be one. If it is one, if it is going to be uh, one. If, if it is one, it, it is going to be zero. Okay, then what we do, we call delay. Uh, there will be certain delay subroutine. I haven't used any subroutine at this stage. I hope you can easily generate your own routine. So uh, there will be certain delay uh, after this, toggling function and then what we do we just repeat this task so branch again so what will happen uh, if the earlier value is zero so it will become toggle one and then there will be certain delay then it will become zero then it, there will be certain delay then it will become one then there will be certain delay and so on so that's how we are generating what generating a square wave using this toggling command or toggling instruction in PKDNF microcontroller. Let's write the same code in MPLAB environment. Okay, this is the MPLAB environment and I have written the same code. Uh, just let me highlight the code. This is the code of uh, that we have seen earlier. This is the delay subroutine I have written. These are again the same two important lines which we, we, which we are required to right for Proteus hardware and, sim, sim, and software simulations. So uh, this is the main code and that we will be calling this delay, right? So before we go and implement this code in Proteus environment, we can, there is also a function of MPLAB software itself, which in, by which you can actually analyze if this pin or any, uh, if this pin is uh, working uh, fine or not, right? So how you can do it? Uh, you have to go to you have to go to this uh, view and there is a simulate logic analyzer one thing that i want to mention uh, this uh, logic analyzer will only be there uh, if you have chosen appropriate debugger if you remember in this course we are just choosing amplab sim debugger from where debugger slack tool and then we choose this amplab right right so this thing we have already chosen, that is why we we have these functions available with us, right? So if you have chosen this debugger, then and only then you can actually see this logic analyzer. So to find out logic analyzer or to uh, extract the logic analyzer, you have to click on view and then you have to click on simulator logic analyzer. Okay, let me, yeah, it will look like this. This is our code, right? This is our code and uh, this is the logic analyzer, right? So what is going to happen? We know that we are using RC0 pin. So we have to select RC0 pin in this logic analyzer to see the output of RC0. Okay, what we have to do in logic analyzer we have to select this RC0 pin and how we will do it. There is a option called channels. So we have to click on it. If you click on it, there are multiple uh, 
uh, pins available, right? So currently you see there, there are, it, it is written no items to display, right? You don't have any items to display. So what you have to do, you have to actually uh, choose RC0, right? RC0. Okay, let me choose how you will choose it, RC0. Zero, and then you have to press this add button, right? Let me do it again for you, how you are doing it. Click on this channel, right? Right now you can see there is no item to display and you will choose here in this drop down uh, RC0 because we are interested in RC0 output and then click on this add button. Once you will do it, you will see this RC0 is appear here because these are available options and these are, these are selected options, right? So RC0 is selected signal. And now what you can do, you can actually, uh, you can actually choose multiple options other. If for example, if one want to simultaneously visualize the output of RC1 and RC2 and RC so on, or any RB, uh, any pin of port B and port A. But right now in this example, we are just interested in RC0. We will be just clicking on OK. So you can see this is RC0 now. And how you would see the output uh, you have to click on this animate button, right? Once you are gonna animate it, what is going to happen? RC0 output will be applied on this space in, the, in this graph and you will be able to see the uh, logic levels of RC0. Let's see how it is going to happen. I'm going to click on animate. I click on it and look, you can see here, there are, uh, this arrow is indicating, I hope you can see this arrow. This arrow is indicating uh, uh, how it is being uh, going through each and every instruction. Look, and this is the wave we are observing at RC0. Uh, so using this logic analyzer, you can analyze the logic levels of any pin or any uh, output pin of microcontroller, right? Uh, and you can see that uh, this is continuous loop for the amount of uh, amount of uh, time or time duration for which logic level remains same. And whenever it, it come out of the loop, it come back to the main program that this log logic level switches, right? I hope you can see this effect, right? So this is, uh, you can see this is a square wave which is being generated and now we are going to visualize the same, uh, same uh, uh, square wave in Proteus environment. So let's go to Proteus environment. Okay, this is the Proteus environment and here we have implemented uh, the code inside this microcontroller. I have created the same setup for you guys. If you, uh, and what we have to do, we have to just burn the same code, the same hex file that we have written for square wave. So I've just chosen that square wave uh, hex file that we have written in the empty lab environment and I have to just uh, set up it accordingly right so this is our microcontroller we can see that and now we are going to use this rc0 pin as an output pin so we will be connecting some device here at which we can display or at which we can actually uh, see the square wave so you know that we can do it using oscilloscope so oscilloscope you can find in uh, this probe this uh, scope mode right there is a scope mode available right so you just click on it, you see multiple types of uh, scopes, logic analyzer, counter meter, virtual terminator, and so on. So the topmost option is oscilloscope. So you have to just click on it and click over here. So this is oscilloscope. And now in this oscilloscope, you have four different channels available for uh, you. You can actually simultaneously analyze four different uh, channels to this specific uh, oscilloscope or you can actually analyze four different signals, but we have only one signal. So we will be connecting this RC0 pin uh, with channel, let's say A. So channel A will be used in this uh, oscilloscope. So channel A is selected and uh, connected with RC0. So let's see how it is going to uh, be visualized when we are going to select when we are going to run this simulation. So let's run this simulation. I will just click on this run button. So you see, okay, uh, if you don't see here, you have to go to debug and uh, digital oscilloscope, right? Uh, it is. It only happens when uh, you range some simulation and 
you just close it. You don't need to close it. You have to stop it. But you, if you have mistakenly closed this oscilloscope here, so what you have to do, you have to go to this debug and click on digital oscilloscope. It will reappear. So you see, uh, this is basically your oscilloscope because this is running and you see there are four different signals in this uh, oscilloscope. Uh, one signal is like a square wave and other three signals are down. They are like DC because we haven't connected any other signal. Uh, so if you want to zoom uh, or if you want to increase the size, you have to actually change the voltage per division, which is over here for channel A. Look, this is channel A, this is channel C, this is channel B, and this is channel D. So right now my source is channel A. If I choose B, it will become different. So I have chosen source A because this is our selected channel and we can actually increase our voltage per division, right? I'm just increasing voltage per division. So one volts per division would be increased, right? Similarly, you can actually change its position, right? Uh, how you can change its position, let me show you. This is how you can actually change the position. So I'm moving uh, position of A up to here. And okay, let's just change the position of C and D as well. So now we only visualize our A wave, right? And you know, uh, you want to increase the size of it. You have to actually increase the, decrease the time per division and how you can do it using this time per division scale, right? There is a time per division if you, decrease the time per division. So one divisions will show the less amount of time. So you will see the more accurate square wave. If you increase the time per division, so you won't be able to visualize it. So just to visualize it, you have to decrease the time per division. So let's make it 100 micro, right? You look, look you, you can see it here, 100 micro. So right now, one, one division of this horizontal division indicates 100 microseconds. So if you count this, one division, another division, another division, another division. So there are four, approximately four divisions included in half cycle and other four divisions are included in uh, other half cycle. So the total complete cycles are eight division or 800 microsecond because time per division is right now 100 microsecond. I hope you can see it. Uh, let me indicate where, where we can actually notice this value. Okay, if I'm gonna, this is the area to select time per division. And this is the area to see the value, right? Right now you see it's 100 microsecond. And if I'm gonna change it, you can see this value will increase. So this concern, if I'm going to change, look, the value is changed. So right now I'm putting it on, you can actually move it to any specific value, but right now I'm choosing 100 microsecond. So every horizontal division, right? So every horizontal division, what is the horizontal division? I hope you can actually, see it very clearly this is the horizontal division right this is it this is these are this is the horizontal line so what horizontal box is equal to 100 microseconds so four boxes are covered in uh, half cycle another four boxes are covered in another half cycle so around 800 eight divisions are covered so that means around 800 microsecond of uh, total time period so you know that if you know the time period of a wave, you can actually calculate its frequency and that's your task. I hope you can easily calculate. You have to do what reciprocal it. One out of 800, it would become some certain Hertz frequency. So that's how you generate a square wave in a Proteus. I hope you have understand the concept that I wanted to explain using pic 18 f microcontroller. See here what we, what we have learned here. Uh, we have learned how one can use uh, PK18F microcontroller, right? Uh, PK18F microcontroller uh, and can generate this square wave uh, and how you can visualize that is, uh, square wave on oscilloscope in uh, Proteus environment. I hope you have understood the concept. If you have any confusion, please post in comment section. Thank you so much for listening.